how can we get started being safe while we enjoy this, this beautiful globe of ball of fire that's in the sky? Well, before we talk about sun protection and getting on that vacation, the most important thing to remember is to plan well and get organized before you travel. Because as you know, that can add a lot of stress to summer and nobody likes stress, especially when they're trying to right. think about taking a vacation. So I found this great tool from Microsoft. It's the OneNote Travel Notebook. And you can actually store all of your important travel information, websites, reservations, even health information, stores it all in this notebook and it's a virtual notebook, almost like a virtual concierge, and then you can access it from any phone or computer wherever you are in the world. And it's also got all of these really great tips from Travel and Leisure magazine, like packing lists and expense trackers. So a really great tool before you set off on that summer vacation. Sun protection, um, you know, it's really important to protect yourself, but also we kind of want to reverse the damage that we've done in the past. You said that you sunburn very easily, and, um, you know, no matter what age you are, it's important to start kind of reversing some of that. So I found this great skincare line, Bioxidia, and they have the Miracle 48 Diamond Excellence Mask. It's made of silicone, it's infused with serum, and it's non-toxic, paraben-free, really important when you're thinking about putting something on your skin, and actually helps to reverse the sun damage that you've already had, lighten up those sunspots, um, and really soothe and hydrate the skin. So it's great even like post sunburn, you can use it right away. It's an amazing product. And also, of course, we briefly mentioned about protecting yourself from the sun. And there was a recent report and an article in the New York Times that melanoma rates are rising 2% per year. And that's despite the fact that people are using sunscreen more than they ever were before. So the issue is that they're not applying enough of it, not using it properly, not reapplying as they should. And also we're forgetting that the first barrier that we should be thinking about is a clothing barrier, like a, a great hat. That's the best thing that you can do along with your sunscreen. So I brought a bunch of fun hats today because, you know, I really like to be stylish. As a style expert, I think, you know, yes, you have to wear the hat, but you can look really cute while you're doing it. So put this on for you. Nice floppy beach hat and it's great to travel with it too. You just kind of roll it up and throw it in your suitcase. Problem so many people forget about wearing a hat, you know, or they just don't want to be bothered. So that report was sort of like a little reminder to us all that we really have to be thinking about this in the summertime in order to stay safe. Before, so thank you so very much for this great tips for sun safety across the board. Thank you so much for having me. This is a Sweatbox Production.